All right, so we're going to go around and film a normal approach in the R44. Now, the key to any approach, no matter what it is you're flying, no matter what helicopter you're flying, the key is a good setup. And out of all these different aircraft, I don't do a whole lot different in one than what I do the other. In general, I start my approaches about 60, 65, and then right from the time I start my approach, I'm slowly decreasing the speed all the way in. So the key is a good setup. So right now we're on downwind. I have a nice uh, downwind base and final kind of setup where I know everything's at. I'm going to go ahead and pull full carb heat. I do 500 feet for downwind, 70 knots. We got that. We've got our airspeed, altitude, and trim. Everything's nice where we like it. So we're going to go shoot for the numbers 2.8. I'm almost a beam 2.8. As soon as I'm at beam 2.8, I'm going to start slowing the aircraft down. And start a small, very small rate of descent. Now we always do the three things the same at the beginning of a descent. A little bit of down collective, a little bit of right pedal, and a little bit of aft cyclic. So moving forward, I got a field here that makes a nice defined base and final. And then I have a row of trees over to the left. If I come over those trees at 300 AGL, I know that I am going to be on a normal approach. Takes all the guesswork out, work out of trying to decide, is this a normal, is this shallow, is this deep? So right now I'm descending down to 1100. Textbook is 300 AGL for a textbook approach for your the start of your approach. So I want to be at 60, 1100 in trim when I start the approach, zero rate of descent, so it's a nice setup. So I got my 60. I'm about 1,200, coming around for my tree line. And if I do it right, I'm going to be at 1,160 in trim, re re zero ray descent when I come over those trees. All right, I'm a little slow, so I'm going to pull up a little bit of power, get rid of that descent. There's 1,100 feet, get back up to my 60. Now I'm using the compass down to the numbers 2,8. So there's my numbers. I'm 300 AGL. There's my normal approach. So I'm going to go a little down collective, a little right pedal, a little bit of aft cyclic. So I started at 60, then I'm going to go to 55, and then I'm going to go to 40, or I mean 45, and then 40. It's a gradual process the whole time we're coming in. So I'm not really looking at any of the gauges or the instruments. I'm just focusing on my numbers 2.8. I'm using the collective to control my angle. I'm using the cyclic to control my speed. About 50 feet AGL, I'm going to put a little left pedal in to get in line with the runway. Prior to 50 feet, we keep it trim with the wind. Up numbers 2.8, still on my uh, line of sight from the beginning of the approach. Keeping the aircraft level. Raising a little collective, just in, or adding left pedal because we've added a little power. And right down to the numbers 2.8. All right, next we're going to do a clearing turn just to make sure there's nobody coming in behind us. Tail clear right, going to turn to the left, make sure nobody's in the pattern, make sure nobody's coming in, and I'm going to do a quick stop. And a long time ago when I was brand new, the older instructor said, you know what, we shouldn't call them quick stops. We should